Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to play a round in the United Kingdom, which as my home country means I should be able to do okay, but as always it's not a guarantee. So let's start the game and see how we do. I'm going to give myself a time limit of three and a half minutes, just to give myself a, a fighting chance but keep things moving. Okay, so we are on the coast. Unfortunately, the UK is surrounded by coast, so it doesn't necessarily help, although we can get our bearings relatively early on by saying that the coast is out to the west, so that that helps. Um, just taking a quick scan around to take some stock. It looks quite dramatic. This could be Scotland. Um, quick 360, pan around. Okay. Um, I'm going to go down here to this industrial estate because it's the the most kind of built up thing there is really. So, you know, quite quite dramatic uh, landscape and so on. This could be a power plant uh, along the coast, for example. You know, it looks like quite an industrial area. Um, a name like Cares, Cares of Edinburgh. Okay, fantastic. So, you know, we're up in Scotland, and we know we're we're sort of on the coast here. Um, not sure here. So fourth port. So let's get in there. Um, we've got a bit of time now, which is good. So Edinburgh's up here. This is the coast. Obviously, we're going to be possibly north of it as well as south. Um, you know, I'm just going to stick a safety pin down, as I occasionally have had a habit of of um, uh, of missing out on time. It says fourth port's in Leith. Okay, so we can zoom in on Leith. That's a place. I don't quite know where it is. Um, let's just, you know, we can really get to the coast and try and figure that out. So we've got Bournemouth, St. Abbs, Dunbar, North Berwick, Musselburgh. Okay, Leith, here we go. Yes, oh, right, it's closer, sort of right to the, um, middle of Edinburgh than I than I thought actually. So are we here? We notice there's the Curs of Edinburgh. Yes, this is the Marine Esplanade, Esplanade, the row group, and we noticed a railroad a second ago. I'm going to go back to the start as I'm pretty confident now in my sort of geography. There's a large um, sort of straight, long straight section here that goes northwest. And then if we turn around, uh, we can see, oh, actually, you know, look at that. Now that we know, well, you can see Edinburgh in the distance. Um, that is almost certainly Edinburgh. And this is Arthur's Seat, which is a famous um, sort of uh, small, well, big hill near near Edinburgh. So fantastic. Ah, that's, that's excellent. I'm very happy that we've tracked it down. We can see here that we're actually on the corner, um, just slightly around it. So I'm going to put a pin about there and go for the guess. Fantastic. Nine meters away, 5,000 points. Very happy with the start to this round. This is also a relatively industrial area, but much flatter. So uh, flat areas in the UK, you know, I think of sort of Norfolk, I suppose, uh, springs to mind quite an industrial area. Um, Behind me looked like sort of disappearing into trees, so I'm going to go this way and see what we come across. Uh, see if there's a, a little mini roundabout or something. Yes, there we go, with some signs. I did see a sign that I've just overshot. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so Cambridge sort of confirms that. The A14. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's get in there and see the A14 is here, okay? Uh, and the area I was referring to before, Norwich and so on being flat is, is all this area around here, Norfolk, Norwich, so on. A14 we can see, um, it basically goes through uh, east-west and so what can we we deduce from this? So A14 westbound is towards Hunton and eastbound is towards Cambridge and Swavesey. So uh, we, sorry, it helps just to keep them over there. So 
if we want to go uh, east towards Cambridge, uh, then we are west of Cambridge, and that uh, narrows things down perhaps a little bit. I think the A4... Oh no, it doesn't. It goes on. That doesn't help. Does it? Where is Huntsdon? It's obviously... Oh, it's hunting, hunting Don. There we go. So we know we're somewhere in this gap. Now we are approaching this roundabout from the south. Um, so we're going to be somewhere, you know, here, possibly here. And what could help is that is actually is the geography of this type of roundabout. Um, what this is saying is that the A14 is... In fact, this roundabout isn't isn't the one necessarily that we need to get there. Um, it's kind of the next roundabout. It's saying that off here you can get to the A14. So let's just try and see if we can if we can see it. Um, you know, so I think I think that's it. We're approaching it from the south. This is about going over it and then going either left or right. So what do we have here that could help with that? Is it this, for example? I think it is, you know. I think that's the one we're approaching there. So we were coming up to this roundabout. You go left, and then you can go left or right on the A14. So I think we're somewhere in here. I've only got 10 seconds left. I might just nip back to the beginning to see if we can decipher anything, but I really don't think we can. So I'm going to stick with the guess. I'm pretty happy with that. And yes, we were close. Very, very close. If anything, actually, I was going to move myself back around this S-bend because I, I thought I might have gone around it, but um, we didn't. We went up this road here to the roundabout and deciphered it from there. So really happy with that because this is a complicated um, sort of intersection setup and we only got actually is this far so to be able to deduce that there was more going on up here before you could go left and right on the A14 was was the key so yep really happy with that let's move on to the next round beautiful rolling countryside unfortunately doesn't give so much away here bike path is kind of rare um, in the UK, don't see too many of them built off the off the road like that. Let's go around here and see what we can find. Try and zip on down a bit, shall we? Interesting. There it was. I think they had, you know, almost um, like are those, you know, they look like vineyards, grapevines growing. What do we have? Okay, so Hereford. Kington. Um, oh, I did it again. I should always remember to put them on the left before opening up that map. Okay, so actually, I don't really recognise these. The only ones I, the only one I do recognise is Hereford, which is out in the west, out here somewhere. He says, "There it is." So putting down a pin. Uh, Hereford is to let's say, let's see, we're approaching this. We are heading west, so then Hereford is north on the A438. Is that right? Is that, I can't really read that. A438, I think it says, and then 44. So where is the 438? There is the 438. Uh, in fact, it goes this way as well. And then the other direction is on the A44, which is up here. Um, do the two meet? No, they do not. Uh, possibly. 438, 438, 438, 438 goes down here. Uh, well, the A44 is to Lionshall and Kington. So, where are those lions lions hall sorry lions shawl lions hall and kington that way 
are we in the middle somewhere? Then this is to Brecon and Hereford. I don't see Brecon. Hmm. Let's try one more set of signs. Trying to figure it out by just one sign is a bit bit, a bit silly actually. Um, there's a sign there for, is it Creedon Hill? So perhaps we're a bit closer to everything than I, than I thought. Um, gonna go with that. Creedon Hill is one way. <laughs> it's not yielding here. We could be on the A438, you know. Um, in fact, no, we, we weren't. Well, we were still very close. I'm a bit annoyed with that guess. I think we could have done a bit better. I should have progressed and, um, and you know, got a bit closer to to into a town or something like that, just to just to decipher it. And I was getting a bit confused. Um, this might sound a bit silly, but I get a bit confused if I if I don't start on a north south road, sort of coming in from the west somewhere and then turning right and going going north. Or, you know, it, sometimes it throws me, and I think then that that's exactly what was going on. So we were close, uh, and I think we were coming into this roundabout. It would have been good. Maybe we could have found Stretton Sugwas, for example. Fantastic names of uh, of towns around here. Uh, Bishopstone, Tillington Common, uh, Morton on Lug. I mean, you've you've got to love the UK for their uh, for their funny names. But um, but anyway, uh, so you know that could have helped as well because they're they're obviously very unique. Um, so look, you, we were close enough in the right neck of the woods, and happy to be sort of on this side of Hereford, I suppose. To play the next round. Much more of a built-up environment. I'm just going to do the cursory 360. I always do that just in case you, you know, turn around and there's a great big sign saying, "Welcome to, welcome to Leeds" or whatever. Um, the problem with these uh, places is that you know you've got to get out. Um, of these housing estates and it's sometimes it's just not possible um, they can be a bit of a rabbit warren unless you know your way out so I'm already not feeling it and I'm gonna go back to here this might be better it's a little mini roundabout down here so let's get out here at the moment I'm thinking leads um, it just uh this feels like a town uh a that's in the north a little bit um b you know it's just the sort of um the architecture of these houses is a little more um is a little more northern a few tower blocks for example um you know makes me think of places like leeds and so on this is a main road now so let's try and progress along this and see how we do There's a big, no there wasn't, I was going to say sort of facility out here, but we're coming to a main roundabout now, so this should help. We're at the Glenwood roundabout, there's a truck here with Scotland on it, so with the Scottish uh, flag on it, so that should help. King Lassie is probably a neighbourhood of this city, this looks like a big city, so you know, now I'm thinking more like Glasgow for example. Uh, partnership with Jasmine Indian Restaurant. Okay, very good. Good to see them teaming up. And no, there were no big signs, no real direction winners here. Glen Roths, Glen Rothers. Where is Glen Rothers? I, I have a feeling we're in Glasgow, so I'm going to put that down. Um, are we possibly in Inverness? I don't know. I'm going to... Glen Rothers. I just... No, I'm not seeing it. I'm spending a bit of time here looking for this. What about Edinburgh? 
I, I re that's not Edinburgh. I'm, I'm absolutely sure of it. So, um, hang on. There is Glenrothes. Fantastic. Okay. Leslie there as well. So that is good. Are we in Kirkcaldy? Not sure. Um, but that that's a help. In fact, the B, you know, 696 or whatever it was, north. Is that If that's this road here or something, no, it isn't. Look, I'm going to stick with my guess there. Um, it says Glen Rothers North, so maybe we're put us there. Yes, we were in the right spot. I think that that's pretty good because, A, it's hard to get tied up in there. I think we ended up at this roundabout. I think that's the roundabout we ended up at. We were tied up in this housing estate to start in. We got out down to this road along here. I did see a Tesco success. There's the Jasmine Indian restaurant, which teamed up with this roundabout in order to keep it looking all good. So, you know, we now know where they are. That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm actually really thrilled with that. So, look, to be there, this is not a big town in Scotland. Um, so I think to have found that, I'm I'm really, really happy. And I just knew that Glen Rothers, or Glen Rothers, forgive how you're meant to pronounce it, um, forgive me for, for butchering how you're meant to pronounce it, I just knew it was somewhere around there. So, um, fantastic. Play next round. Well, this must be the final round. Yes, it is. We're not doing too badly, you know. Don't jinx it, but... Okay. So, look, another housing uh, estate, but uh, the good thing is we're at the exit, so we can leave. Um, and uh, just do a cursory 360 there as well because that would help. This looks like it's a little more promising, so let's go here. This could be Scotland again. Um, just, you know, it looks quite hilly, I suppose, around the surrounding, um, surrounding environment. Sort of quite commercial, actually. Uh, area is this as well, commercial and some other housing. Let's carry on down here and get a lick on. Look at these, lovely. I mean, just to imagine living here, looking out every morning, you know, you've got the rugby in front of you, right in front of you, beautiful sun, rolling hills. Life is good. Life is good. Yes. Yellow car. Okay, so this is this is Welsh, uh, which uh, is pretty recognisable. Let's get in there, and um, you see, because I've started on a north-south trajectory, I find this easier to orient myself. So we've got this place. I'm not going to try and pronounce. Well, I am. Let's give it a shot. Betsy Cord. Goodness, um, that's the last of that, I think. Uh, these names are very iconic. I just don't know really where in Wales they are, though. Um, we know that we've got the town centre as well. I think, isn't Betsy up, up around here? Ooh, this is embarrassing. I don't actually know. Um, oh, goodness. I think... I don't think it's in the south. I think it's actually up here somewhere, like Banger. Can I? Maybe I'll just need to zoom in a bit. It's in like Snowdonia. D didn't that Blano? Nope. It's in here. I can't believe I can't see it either. Maybe it's not on my map, but. Um. Oh, come on. I've already blown a lot of time here. I think it's up in Snowdonia, like... A470. Yes, that's the A470 here. I think we're on here. 
I want to look for I just can't see it can't see these names but we're on the A470 somewhere so it's gonna have to do ah oh, we were in Landudno he says as if he knows honestly so where is this is going to annoy me now so I'm just going to try and find it and spend some more of our time it's down here Betsy or Butsy there it is you see how small is that what a tiny name I knew it was in the middle here um, of course knowing it after the fact is is not not good if you good thing to remember if you do see that t sign uh, you know that town name it's obviously so iconic bets I keep calling it Betsy Coed but uh, you know who knows um, but just remember it's Snowdonia National Park that is what you need to remember and so if you uh, zoomed way out here uh, you still see Snowdonia National Park you see it on the Google map so that really really helps so you can really zoom in there and just go to it and it's kind of I guess you can remember it's at the middle of this it's at this X of the two yellow roads here the A5 and the A470 as for where we were in it I thought we were sort of in the middle of nowhere but we were in Landudno which is just a, a name I recognize um, it's uh, actually in in Bill Bryson's uh, book where he travels around the UK if uh, anyone's ever read it it's very enjoyable um, so look and, and we would I think we'd just gone down to this roundabout and you know obviously I hadn't tracked um, that we were here at all so we never got to found that out but again 12k away not that far another 4474 points let's view the summary oh carving out the medal well done thank you very much GeoGuessr and a new badge 24135 I think is pretty good now that being said I'm from the UK so I should be able to do okay here but uh, I think I'm going to classify this round as a resounding success perhaps one to be improved on and I think a perfect score in the UK is certainly possible so that's something to uh, aim for in the future I really enjoyed playing today's video I hope you guys have too thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video